<laughs> so much to talk about we here. Keep talking well, this over commercial here. break was everything. All right. Well, it has been four <laughs> years since we last saw lives transformed and hundreds of pounds shed on the hit show, The Biggest Loser. And now it's back in a big way with new coaches, intense challenges, and one very familiar face. Take a look. Finding that community, finding that group of people, which you know a lot of you have found here, and how you're going to find that support group when it's time for you to go home, because you will be put to the test at that point. The one thing that you could do differently is talk to those people that support and that love you so much and really ask for help and tell them, this is what I'm battling with and I'm gonna need your help to get me through this because that's gonna be the big thing. You're not gonna be able to do love this it. on your own. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and Bob is here with us now. This, well, we are glad that The Biggest Loser is back. What can you tell us about this season? Well. It is such a great new season. We have decided that we want to make the stories really the forefront of our show because we get so ins uh, so inspired by yeah. our contestants. I feel like the viewers are going to get so much from the stories from our contestants. And we're in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Ooh. We don't do all the uh, those weird temptations or crazy <laughs> vote offs. It's just, just this. It's a it's just it's a quieter but 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 just beautiful. Oh yeah. Uh, beautiful Fair hopeful Fair. stories. Yeah, I love that. We were talking about pretty much everything during the commercial break, you guys Oscar fashion, uh, but we were also talking about the fact that you are celebrating pretty soon your 3 year anniversary. Yeah, it's of a it's a weird, it's a weird birthday. It's like tomorrow will be my um, three year birthday of uh, surviving my heart attack. Yeah. So uh, it's the first time I've talked about this. So um, really? Yeah. Is it difficult for you to talk about to revisit that? Why is it the first time you talked about it? Well, uh, yeah, it's just something that I, I've been focused on uh, really trying to help people in my career for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so now uh, being a heart attack survivor, I go around the country and I, I speak to fellow heart attack survivors and uh, try to just give them a little insight of what it's like after having, mm -hmm. after having Having a heart attack. Yeah. Has that changed your perspective in terms of with the show? Completely. Yeah. I felt like I related to a Biggest Loser contestant more than I ever had because I had to start back at square one. Mm. I couldn't walk around a city block without feeling winded. I had to completely change my diet. I had to change everything about my life. So, so I related so much to the contestants. I love hearing that. So how do you, because The Biggest Loser is about kind of like that tough love but encouragement too, how do you find the balance given your experience with the heart attack? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it, there, we really try to be um, sympathetic but also we're passionate about what we do. I mean, we have these two new trainers that have come in and you know, you get so invested so it's like, I don't know how long I'm gonna have you so I wanna make sure that I can do everything that I can to help you as much as I possibly can. So, yeah. you know, it gets it gets dramatic at times. It's interesting. We were talking with one of our producers, Morgan, before the show, and she was saying how, you know, you guys are referring to this actually as season one. Yes. Like it sounds like a rebirth in some Complete, ways. Yes, you're exactly right. It is a rebirth. I mean, it's season one on USA, and uh, we love it. I mean, it's just like the, the audience has really responded. We've been really, um, we've been received so well, and it's like seeing old friends. It's like getting the band back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so 12 new contestants. What are some of the moments we should be looking out for? Oh my God, so, there's so many. many. There's so many, but there's one uh, man that stands out. Uh, he was hiding the fact that he was gay from his family for such a long time because he felt like he was going to just be disowned by them. And so all that weight really represented that. Yeah. And the freedom that he received and the love that he got from his family. It was just, you know, uh, as a gay man, I was just so inspired yeah. by that. Do we see him tell his family on the show? Is that part of the show? Uh, uh, that they come in and have um, have conversations <gasps> about It's beautiful. Oh, and but the the coaches also have stories too. There's Erica, Erica who Lugo. lost 100 pounds. My girl lost 160 pounds. Oh it's my God, don't let go kept, of the 60. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Has kept it off for five years. I mean, who, if not her, can speak to, the, to those contestants more so than anybody else? Because she's lived it, she's breathed it, she's walked it. I love that. It's incredible. And you, listen, you got to come back and talk about the Oscars because we were talking we in the so commercial break. Say. So much to say. Favorite gown. Favorite gown for me was Cynthia Erivo. I love mean, on her. stage just singing with that, that thing oh, that yeah. behind her. <laughs> I was just like this. Yes, Miss Erivo. Yes. I loved it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Margot Billy. Margot Robbie. Margot, that, yeah. Margot yeah, Robbie yeah. and Chanel. Brie Larson for me. What was your favorite? All of the above. Yeah. All of the above. <laughs> so we don't have enough one. time for me to tell you. I know. You got to come back. All right. Well, you can catch the new season of The Biggest Loser tonight at 9 p.m. on USA and check out Bob on social media. He'll tell you all about his favorites from the Oscar red carpet. I'm That's sure. Right. We're the best. <laughs> Great to see you.